And that is our Prophet, Allah's blessings be upon him. And they know the prophecy. He said that uh, an army will come out of Khorasan with black flags. And no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem. Indicating that it is not a Russian army that will liberate Jerusalem. Rather, it will be a Muslim army that will liberate Jerusalem. The late Dr. Israr Ahmad, rahimahullah, may Allah have mercy on his soul, did excellent work in defining for us ancient Khorasan. And I have benefited from his research. And what he said was that ancient Khorasan comprised of the northwest of Pakistan, what you call KPK, the whole of Afghanistan, the east of Iran, and the north of Afghanistan, that whole area is ancient Khorasan. And when the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, that an army will come from Khorasan, and no one will be able to stop it until it reaches Jerusalem, answer, Afghanistan is the heart of Khorasan. And if the Islamic resistance in Afghanistan has been successful in resisting American occupation of the country to such an extent that the United States is now withdrawing. The evidence can no longer be disputed that what is now happening is validating the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad It is a validation. And if that is so, then all of mankind should now be paying attention to what is happening in Afghanistan and in the world of Islam. Because history is not moving in a haphazard way, helter-skelter. Rather, history is moving in a particular direction towards a particular culmination or end. And the Messiah is located at the very heart of the movement of history. And the Messiah is connected with Jerusalem. And so history is ending with Islam playing a spectacular role. I should not have to repeat what I have just said. I am speaking slowly so you can understand 